All right, guys, this is going to be an off-stream session. Uh, I hope you enjoy. I'm just going to do Getting Over It with Bennett Foddy, because the first time I did it to a whole bunch of music. So I'm just going to climb that mountain again, just for you. This will be a raw, uncut, oh, brand new game. Let's get going. So I had some people that said they wanted to see this upload, um, so I thought this could be a nice thing for me to do for you, offline in the meanwhile. Maybe even re-play uh, it sometimes as a vodcast, if need be. Wow. There's no feeling more intense than starting over. If you deleted your homework the day before it was due, as I have, or if you left your wallet at home, and you have to go back after spending an hour in the commute. Oh. If you want some money at the casino, and then put all your winnings on red, but it came up black. If you got your best shirt dry cleaned before a wedding, what? and then immediately dropped food on it. If you want an argument with a friend... I, I do have to I apologize in advance. I'm not going to be the most exciting guy. Uh, I'm not going to be the most exciting guy to watch in this. Uh, one, I don't get horribly angry, although maybe I'll eat those words. And two, I don't have anyone to I don't have anyone to interact with right now. I miss you. I miss you all. So heads up on that. Ooh. All right. Thanks for coming with me on this trip. Thank you for the follow guy that isn't watching me stream right now. Just find a safe place to stop and quit the game. Don't worry. I'll save your progress always, even your mistakes. This game is a homage to a free game that came out in 2002. Up to Daisy? Up to Daisy? The author of that game is Jazzor, Down a mysterious Daisy. Czech designer who was known at the time as the father of B games. And B games are rough assemblages of found objects. Designers slap them together very quickly and freely, and they're often too rough and unfriendly to gain much of a following. They're built more for the joy of building them than as polished products. In a certain way, Sexy Hiking is the perfect embodiment of a big game. It's built almost entirely out of found and recycled parts, mm -hmm. and it's one of the most unusual and unfriendly games of its time. In it, your task is simply to drag yourself up a mountain with a hammer. Also, you're gonna... Don't worry, Without I don't need to talk. Bennett Foddy will do it for me. Or in real life, At least for a while. essential properties that give the game its flavor. No amount of forward oh. progress is guaranteed. Some cliffs are too sheer or too slippery. And the player is constantly, unremittingly, in danger of falling and losing everything. Anyway, when you start sexy hiking, you're standing next to this dead tree that blocks the way to the entire rest of the game. It might take you an hour to get over that tree, and a lot of people never go past it. You prod and poke at it, exploring the limits of your reach uh -huh. and your strength, trying to find a way up and over. Yes, tell us and more there's a about sense of truth in that lack of compromise. Most obstacles in video game worlds are fake. You can be completely confident in your ability. You know, to get I know I'm pretentious. I really agree with a lot of what he has to say. I'm very much about his uh, ranting. In that sense, diatribe. every pixelated obstacle in sexy hiking is real. The obstacles in sexy hiking are unyielding, and that makes the game uniquely frustrating. But I'm not sure Jazzo intended to make a frustrating game. The frustration is just essential to the act of climbing, and it's authentic to the process of building a game about climbing. A funny thing happened to me as I was building this mountain. I'd have an idea for a new obstacle, and I'd build it, test it, and it would usually turn out to be unreasonably hard. But I couldn't bring myself to make it easier. It already felt like my inability to get past the new obstacle was my fault as a player rather than as a builder. Imaginary mountains built themselves from our efforts to climb them, and it's our repeated attempts to reach the summit that turns those mountains into something real. When you're building a video game world, you're building with ideas. Scott, 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 and that can be like we get it. With quick sets you love games. sexy hiking. You mold your ideas into I love a certain shape hiking. that can be played with. I too. And in the process hiking. of playing with them, they begin to harden and set until they're immutable, like rock. And at that point, you can't change the world. Not without breaking it into pieces and starting fresh with new ideas. Okay. Thank you to the follow guy that is not watching me. Ah! Actually, why am I not streaming this? What's wrong with me? Oh. Whoop. 
There we are. Look at that. That's pretty. Get up there, you sack. No! Well then, I deserve that. Shouldn't have called him a sack. He has self-esteem issues, and honestly, that's just karma. Thank you for the follow guy that is not watching me. Ah! Nice pool. Let's do this thing. For years now, people have been predicting that games would soon be made out of prefabricated objects, bought in a store and assembled into a world. And for the most part, that hasn't happened. Because the objects in the stores are trash. I don't mean they look bad or that they're badly made. I think they although look a lot of them are. I mean they're trash in the way that food becomes trash as soon as you put it in the sink. Things are made to be consumed and used in a certain context. And once the moment is gone, they transform into garbage. In the context of technology, those moments pass by in seconds. Oh. Over time, we've poured more and more refuse into this vast digital landfill that we call the internet. It now vastly outnumbers and outweighs the things that are fresh and untainted and unused. When everything around us is cultural trash, trash becomes the new medium, the lingua franca of the digital age. And you can build culture out of trash, but only trash culture. B games, B movies, B music, B philosophy. B philosophy. Maybe this is what digital culture is. A monstrous mountain of trash, Maybe. the ash heap of creativity's fountain. A landfill with everything we ever Woo! thought of. <laughs> Yo, new it's skip for the speedrunners. Nah, they have a better one. I, they have a better one. I know that. This 3D know. models of breakfast. People in the Genesis comments will be like, Dear soul, you fucking suck. I know. I know. Ben stuff scenes on Live League. Facebook's got lifelike bots with unbranded adverts and candid shots of Kanye and Taylor Swift mashups and car crash epic failed GIFs Russian dash cam vids. Okay, first of all, they're not... Oh, no, no, hold on. Stop this rant. They're not GIFs. They're not graphical interfaces. They're graphical Rock. interfaces. Untitled. GIFs. It's a GIF, Scott. Uh, Bennett. Body. Whatever your name is. It's a, it's a GIF. Until some Stop it. Thing beckons and we hit Stop it. Fresh. They're not, they're not graphics. Years of they're not... They're GIFs. Disappearing gifts. into the pile. Out of style. Out of sight. Wow. In this context, it's oh, oh, oh. It's oh the same. Through it, but not earn it. Why make something demanding if it just gets piled up in the landfill, filed in with the bland The there. fuck out of here, yeah. Let's go, old man. Old man, pot stick. When games were new, they wanted a lot from you, daunting you, taunting you, resetting and delaying you. Yo, Players God played knows. stoically. Now everyone's turned off by that. They want to burn through it quickly. A quick fix for the fickle. Some tricks for the clicks of the fecklers. But that's not you. You're an acrobat. How quickly can I get hit by this uh, orange here? It's coming. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fail at oranges. It's just... That's just... Science. No, I know. Most likely you're watching this on YouTube or Twitch. Yeah, you probably are. He's talking to you guys right now. You. I want you all to pay like attention. a baby bird being fed chewed up food. I'm going to feed you my that's baby That's culture birds. too. But on the off chance that you're playing this... What I'm saying is, trash is disposable, but maybe it doesn't have to be approachable. What's the feeling like? Are you stressed? I guess you don't hate it if you got this far, feeling frustrated. Woo! I'll take it. An orange is sweet, juicy fruit. It is sweet, Locked juicy inside fruit. a bitter peel. That's a good That's point. not how I feel about a challenge. I only want the bitterness. It's coffee. It's grapefruit. It's licorice. It's salty, delicious tears. Mm -mm. Nope. Mm -mm. Not taking that jump. I'll take that one now. Yes, I have played before. I think you all can tell. But the first time, like I said, I had a bunch of copyright music going on, so... Here we are! Whoop! 
Don't you do it. It feels like we're closer now. Yeah, closer a little bit. Closer climber, designer, and user. You could have refused, but you didn't. There was something in you that was hidden. It you was. to continue. Yeah, I did. Thank you. Thank you for noticing that. Uh, Bennett Foddy. I, I, I keep calling him Scott. I'm going to call him Scott. His name is Scott now. Thanks, Scott. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. So, the, so I've climbed this mountain, and honestly, it's so much more fun the second time. If you guys have not done this yet, I strongly recommend it. Climb the mountain again. Go for it. You might, you might surprise yourself having a good old time. Thank you for the follow guy that is not watching me right now. Don't you do it, Hat. Get out of here. That's right. You go fuck off. Okay. Whoop. Negative. Whoop. Good jump, though. Very impressive jump. Bad follow-up. Good jump. Whoop. Again. Double down. You know what you're thinking? How do we know that this is the first take? You don't. You just gotta trust me now. You gotta believe me. Now I wish you were here. Just a matter of opinion. Good God. <laughs> Nice. I will take that. Absolutely. Okay, trick shot. We're going to bank off of it. We're going to bank off that snowball on the left. Whoop! Whoop! Yeah, buddy. Clean. It means a lot to me that you've come this far, endured this much. Every wise crack, every insensitivity, oh, every that's setback you've forgiven me is a kingly gift that you've given me. Thanks, buddy. No problem. I love to forgive. Whoop! See, see, Bennett Foddy and I, we're cool like this. I sold my soul to the devil to be good at Cuphead. Apparently it transferred. Uh, and gone. Uh, <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> Don't do it! Come on, man! We had a good thing going on! <laughs> it was gonna be such a clean run! That's okay. The cleanest runs are not the most interesting. To be honest, though, I think part of what I appreciate in this game is that I'm just as pretentious as, uh, as Bennett Foddy. And for, for better or more likely worse. It's just true. But I agree with him. I agree with his vision. And I, it makes me appreciate this game a lot more as a whole. Because I think something that people get short-sighted about, they get frustrated, they get angry, right, because they fall down. But ultimately, falling isn't the removal of progress. Not in the truest, right? What is progress? So, they're looking you at their fell progress. From above, but I know you won't linger yet. Your hammer's no longer, your jump is no stronger, but your hunger will tell. See, people look at progress as if though... It's merely a physical measurement, something dictated in meters. But no matter how many meters they set you back, no matter how many times you restart this game, no matter how long it takes, and it might take me a while still, who knows? What they can never take away from me is my experience. And every time I play this game, I get a little bit faster, I get a little bit smoother, I get a little bit smarter. 
when I get up just a little bit more efficient. So, end of the day, you can set my progress back. You can put me back meters. Meters is not my progress. Not in truth. Progress is the construction of knowledge. And knowledge this game can never take. Alright. Let's put on our big boy pants and make a hard jump. And make a hard jump. Oh god. Oof, sorry about that. Splurt. That was a that was a that was a soft jump. I asked for the hard jump, I got the baby jump. I think honestly what I should be doing on the anvil part, just to be a little bit more efficient. is I should be not so much pulling in. I'm not going to do it. Oh, I'm not going to be efficient at all. I'm, I'm not worried about that. But I shouldn't be pulling up and in as I land there. I should allow it to set. I won't do that. I'm very stubborn in my ways. I like fast. I like speed, even when it sets me back in the uh, figurative sense. Not the literal one. Because that feels so much more gratifying, right, than to simply grab and hang. And honestly, that's how I find my fun in this game. Whoop. Whoop. Don't you do it! No, you sassy bitch. You got me. I've been thinking too much. Thinking too much. Well, that's one way to do it, isn't it, then? No pressure, no pressure. Snow pressure. Ain't no pressure like snow pressure. All right. Bring it a little lower. Thank you for the follow guy that is not watching me right now. You know you have a good stream when, while not streaming, you still get like... <laughs> thank, th thank you people I do not know that do not, that are not watching me. You are awesome. I hit the bucket, son of a bitch. Alright, let's try something that I've seen here, which is not riding the snake. Stop it. I know you're at home, you're like, he's gonna ride the snake? Ride the snake? I'm not riding the snake. We have the same taste, you and, and I. I. It's not ambition. ambition. It's ambition's, it's ambition's opposite. opposite. An obdurate mission to taste defeat. You'll feel bad if you win. I don't so think I'll I will. So I put the snake in for you. I don't. I don't agree. Just gonna go with a bucket swing. I like it. I like the bucket swing. Bucket swing is underrated. All these kids with their fancy speed run strats, and I'm just sitting here like, I like the bucket swing. It makes me feel like a man.
I also apparently don't like grabbing the bucket. Because otherwise I would have done it by now. <laughs> snake, snake, oh, it's a snake. Maybe I will pull on this bucket. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I knew I had a bad grip. Oh, bucket, why must you taunt me? So. Oh, baby! <laughs> oh! Ah. Whatever I said about that swinging bucket shit, fuck that. I lied. Swinging bucket is for bitches. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Slide down into the snake. You know you want to. It's okay. Let the snake say hello. You love the snake. Not quite. Oh, the ice wall. You are ever so fun. Thank you for the follow, guy that is whoop, not watching my stream. Whoop. Yeah. Nice pull, man. That's why I say amen, nice shot. A good shot, man. Have you thought about who you are in this? Good are one. you the man in the pot, Diogenes? Are you his hand? Are you the top of his hammer? I think not. Where your hand moves, the hammer may not follow. Nor the man. Nor the man's hand. In this year is will, his intent. The embodied resolve in his uphill ascent. Sure. Okay. Get up there. Yeah, boy. Yes. Now, 
you've conquered the ice cliff, the platforms, the church, Ooh, and the rectory. That was a really good job. I'm almost proud of him. Had it worked. The playground, the construction Oh, I suck at this part. Side note. rocks and the lakeside. You've learned to hike. There's no way left to go but up. I'll shut up. But let me say, I'm glad you came. I'm glad you came. I'm glad you came. Oh, baby, I'm about to. Let's go. <laughs> Get up there! Yes. Let's go, pot man. Ah! Stop. Continue. Nice jump, me. Thanks, me. No respect. No respect. Oh, hmm. Ups a daisy. Negative. I gotta stop oh, I swinging. Get... Keep on trying. Don't let it get to you. But let it get to you a little bit. So be it. This thing that we call failure is not the falling down, but the staying. <laughs> Do it from the shopping cart. That'd be interesting. Hold on. I gotta know. I gotta know. Can I shopping cart my way up there? Probably not. Negative. At least not from that angle, I don't think. Oh well. Hopes and dreams. Dashed them. Dashed my hopes and dreams. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy! It's okay. We'll just beat the game with our positive mental attitude. So close, though. Would have been great. Ah! 
Too far. Don't do it. Come here, old man. What button do I press to climb out of the pot and walk? That's the button I need right now. swinging too hard. That's my problem. Oh. Shopping cart is love. Shopping cart is life. not bad. My favorite one, and, I, and they say it in this game too, my favorite quote of all time uh, is Khalil Gibran, um, specifically in that the breaking of, I'm sorry, your pain is the breaking of the shell that encloses your understanding. I think that phrase is beautiful. And I think it's very apt. But hey, what do I know? Be game philosophy. If you're watching this video, thank you guys for supporting me for everything that I do, for being a part of this channel and a part of this community. Like, you're just fucking awesome. Uh-uh. I don't think so. Uh-uh. Nope. Mm -mm. I don't give you permission to fall, sir. I do not. No, that's the bad. I feel now Woo! is the happiness I had before. That's the deal. C.S. Lewis. I don't know why I suck so much at this part, but I always have. And by always, I mean the last time I tried. Something about this tower just gets me. I think it's that it requires a gentle touch, and I'm an aggressive man. At least I can be. Sometimes you got to say, hey, I'm gonna hump you sweetly. I'm gonna screw you, Jenny. And then I'm gonna fuck you hard. What did I grab? <laughs> what did I even grab? That was interesting. What did I actually pick up there? I wonder.
push was awesome. He had really good momentum there. So I think what I'm doing wrong when I get up to this point. One, I'm not setting. Two, I am doing a half push. I need to do a full push plus a swing. That actually felt right. I was off pace, but I felt like that was the man like that was the answer. So let's try that again. Up, over. Dear God, I'm booking it. Okay, okay, not bad. That is almost certainly game as long as I don't screw it up here. But you never know. Give me a chance. Give me a chance to and I'll find it. Uh. Yeah, baby. I dedicate this game to you, the one who came this far. I give it to you with all my All right, guys, so that's my run of getting over it by, I'm going to call him Scott, Bennett Foddy. That's, that's, that's my run of getting over it by Scott. And uh, I just want to say thank you for tuning in, enjoying the video. Uh, I appreciate it. I really do. And uh, I just got to say... Um, You want me to click that yes button, but I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna. All right. Cheers. This is Noble Soul signing out.